Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. My name is Muhammad Adil Azam and I am a student of Biomedical Engineering Technology from UET Texla. And today I am here to present my paper Photoplethysmography Based Detection of Social Stress. Besides me, other authors of paper are Muhammad Sumair Aziz, Aman Zaheer, Muhammad Umar Khan, Madiha Mukhtiar, and Sayyid Zuhayb Hassan Nakvi. So I am going to discuss the following contents. First of all, motivation, then introduction, then literature review, then methodology, results and discussion, and finally conclusion. Motivation so the biggest motivation behind this project was suicide rate because ultimately depression, anxiety and stress leaves no other way for a person but to end his own life. And according to the statistics of World Health Organization, 300 million people are mentally depressed globally and it is a huge number. Introduction Let's come towards introduction. As mentioned in the title of paper, we will discuss two things here. Number one, social stress and number two, PPG signal. First of all, social stress. This kind of stress is endured by almost all students as a result of academic competition, household worries, sufferings in social circle and unemployment pressure. And according to WHO, the rate at which these mental ailments are burgeoning day by day, by 2030, world will be having more mentally distressed patients than cardiac patients, which are on the top list nowadays. Secondly, PPG signal. It is a biomedical signal which we can acquire using the tip of finger. And it is really very beneficial to analyze anomalies like stress because stress causes the pulse waves to become aberrant and it also deviates normal blood pressure. The figures are illustrating that how a normal PPG signal is different from a stress PPG signal. Literature Review So in Literature Review, I am going to discuss the past work of recent 6 years using PPG signals. In 2015, thermal stress and drowsiness detection was carried out using LDF and NIRS dataset. And in 2016, nervous stress and fatigue was de detected using HRV dataset with frequency domains. In 2017, psychological and noise stress test was carried out using 200 synchronized samples. In 2018, Perceived stress scale detected the anomalies. In 2019, mental and emotional stress using QDA and SFFS algorithms were detected. And finally, in 2020, pulse wave features of PPG enabled the researchers to find the negative condition of mental health. So, proposed methodology. Our proposed methodology includes data acquisition, pre-processing, feature extraction, and finally classification. So we have acquired the PPG samples of five pupils who are actually involved in uh, enduring social stress in life because all of them were confronting household worries, feeble in academics, and tackling problems in social circle. We have acquired samples of 1800 seconds in which first 15 minutes we talked about happy nostalgic memories so that people should remain die stressed and relaxed. While during the last 15 minutes we questioned about poor academic record, monetary and social circle hardships to put the people in severe stress condition. We got a total of 222 samples out of which 110 were of normalcy and 112 were of stress state. The data acquisition was carried out using Biopack system model MP36 data acquisition unit. These are the raw samples of PPG in time and frequency domains. So in the second step, we have denoised the samples and segmented our region of interest by breaking the samples 
into intrinsic mode functions that are IMFs. The empirical mode decomposition enabled us to know that the first three IMFs have shown difference and out of these three the IMF1 has shown a colossal difference which is very crystal clear by these images. Then uh, in feature extraction we have applied 25 features mentioned in the uh, table and uh, uh, classification as I told earlier that the first three IMFs contained the region of interest so we have uh, applied those 25 features to these combinations of IMF and acquired our results. So results and discussions. In results and discussions we have found back trees to be most accurate with accuracy of 92.8% using 12 features uh, that are mean, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, peak to peak, shape factor, impulse factor, mean frequency, median frequency, peak to RMS, occupied bandwidth and Shannon energy. Uh, these are the graphs. The first is among the different ensemble classifiers using IMF1 only and the second is uh, with only back trees using different combinations of IMF and in both we, you can see that the highest accuracy we have achieved is 92.8%. So uh, scatter plots let us know that among 12 best features mean and median frequencies are the most prominent and are very valuable in this uh, classification of social stress. Uh, this table is showing accuracies uh, using other classifiers also uh, and you can easily see that uh, what other uh, classifiers enabled us to bear the outcomes. This is the confusion matrix of 92.8% accuracy which we have achieved using uh, ensemble classifier and uh, basically a back cheese. Uh, in comparative analysis we have uh, compared past uh, 14 papers with our research and we have mentioned methodologies, cases, signal types and comments. Uh, in number one uh, reference uh, mental stress was analyzed by PPG using pulse wave features. Uh, in two wearable gadget uh, detected mental stress and overall accuracy was 98%. In three, mental stress was detected in uh, five multi levels and accuracy was 92% using SVM. Uh, in next, uh, S TSST test uh, detected psychological stress. In six, mental stress was detected by perceived stress scale with 86.3% accuracy. Uh, in seven, uh, TSST test with Gaussian mixture modeling detected psychological stress. In eight, HRV analysis uh, generated 82%, 81% and 74% and the outcomes for severe, mild and baseline stresses. In 9, 200 synchronized samples detected in wild stress by NST technique. Uh, in 10, nervous stress was detected by HRV analysis. In 12, thermal stress by oxy uh, pulse oximetry was found. And in 13, rosiness and stress detection using earbud like PPG sensor was carried out. Uh, in 14, fuzzy uh, function beard 93% results for exercise uh, test and finally our research was the, the detection of social stress using machine learning tag with PPG signal and results were 92.8% accurate. At last, conclusion and future work. We have got 92.8% accuracies and it is a non-invasive signal acquisition technique and there is no danger to human health. In future, the amalgam of our technique with Internet of Things can be very productive in diagnosing oxidative and post-traumatic stresses. These are the reference slides and I thank you all. If you have any question, you can ask.